man, we are loaded up with crab. What's up, YouTube? We are out in the St. John's River and we are catching blue crabs today. You guys are gonna ride along. Um, we're using two different types of bait and we're gonna see which catches more blue crabs. We're also using two different types of traps and we're gonna experiment with that. And at the end of the video, I'll give you guys a report. We're also gonna cook some up for you. See you in a minute. So I'm setting my traps up. Uh, I just wanna explain a few things to you guys. We put rebar on the bottom of our traps. This helps them stay to the bottom, especially in heavy current. You would be surprised what a current can drag away. These are some new traps I got for Crystal. Um, in the state of Florida, you can fish five traps per person recreationally. So I have five and Crystal has five. Uh, we're attaching our rebar to the bottom with zip ties. Then I like to attach my line here and when I tie it on I like to get a little bit of that rebar and a little bit of the trap that will uh, ensure that when you're pulling them up they don't break loose after a couple seasons that's not going anywhere then as well in the state of Florida you need to have trap tags they need to have your specific number issued by the state of Florida your name and address on them and we're attaching these to the top uh, by the way i got these on amazon so y'all can check that out it's a a good source for some cheap tags and i just write on them with a sharpie marker now there's two different types of traps these are more of like a day trap or a recreational trap they don't have the upper condo like these commercial style traps um the biggest difference in me is price these are a little bit cheaper these are a little bit more you can leave these ones in the water longer and the crabs won't get out i think if you leave these ones in the water for more than 24 to 48 hours once that bait runs out the crabs will eventually find their way out of the trap uh, so just keep that in mind when you're buying your traps They're all gonna fit, huh? Yeah. Nice. <sighs> Last one. But you gotta figure out how we're gonna get them all in the boat. Yeah. I think we can stack these ones across the back. Lengthwise. Tie them down. All loaded up. What's next? Time to go. Time to go. how they can do that. So cool. So we're baiting up. I have two different types of bait. I've got mullet that we netted the other day and I've got some pogies that we netted on the beach the other day. We're gonna alternate traps and see which one catches better. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think is gonna catch. Look at that chair, you guys. Tell me you wouldn't want to spend a day hanging out right there catching catfish. Or getting eaten by gators. <laughs> Eleven. All right, 15 feet. Throw her in. Ten feet. Last one went out. We'll give them a 48 hour soak. See what we got. This is the double stack type with the mullet. How do you 
remember that. <laughs> we got, oh man! We are loaded up with crabs. First trap too. And they ate almost all the bait. Oh, and this was a 48 hour soak on cut mullet. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 crabs. You know, some of these crabs are a little small. We may save them and use them for bait or we may put them back, but we're gonna eat the big ones. Uh oh. Or is it just the current? It was a current. There's a pretty strong current in here today between the winds. Now this At long is chair point. another single stack. Lawn chair point. Off a long chair point. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. no. I wonder how that happened. I don't know. Boat ran? Ran through here? No. Just in a bad spot maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe just because of the way the bend is or something the with current. the current. Not even one crab. Not even Gotta one. remember that. No. Long chair point is not the spot. <laughs> no, it sure isn't. All right, we've got one more right up there. Let's check that. You guys, check out all these little shrimp-like things that were in the mud that got caught in our traps. Leave a comment below if you know what those are. I don't. One of the single stack traps or the day traps, and it also had mullet in it. Let's see. We've got one, two, four, four crabs in this one. Now I'm worried with this style that since they ate all the bait that they may be getting back out. That's a good size one right there. It is. Uh -huh. All right, so we have another one of the red traps, the new traps. They don't seem to be catching nearly as good as the double stack commercial traps. All right, last one. Last trap. Oh, this is one of the red traps, so I don't have high hopes. Three crabs. Nice. That's 38 crabs in total. 38 crabs in total? In total. Hey, what do I need right now? All right, we got our lucky buoy. <laughs> this is a yellow trap, so I bet it's loaded up. Oh, man. Is it? <laughs> one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that matches our first trap of the day for- With also 12. 12. 50 nice. crabs, wait, wait, hold on. 50 crabs. 50 crabs. Hey B, what do I need right now? The bucket. The basket? Bucket. Those are all basket. fairly decent sized crabs too. It's going to be tasty. Maybe tomorrow crabs. we'll take the smaller crabs and go catch redfish with them. So this was the true last trap because 50 crabs. The captain had lost track. The captain bit. lost track. This is my crew. That's Captain Crystal. That's Binky Sue, AKA Boats and Baits with Bianca. Check out her YouTube channel. All right, guys, we got our traps out of the water. Our final tally was 50 crabs. Some of those we'll call out and use for redfish bait, but the other ones we're gonna eat for dinner. It's super hot today. It's like 103 degrees in Palatka. So we're gonna go home and cook these up. I'll see you in the kitchen. So this is how we clean our blue crabs for eating. These crabs have been iced down. They're asleep. Pop the back off. I pull their gills off. Pull their face off like that. Flip them over. This is a male. Get under that little apron there. That's a male. Pull that off. Now, I'll take my hose and I spray all that stuff out of there because I don't want to eat it. 
and that's how I'm going to steam them so I can put my seasoning right on the meat. So I've got my pot heating up. We're going to steam these crabs. I've got water, a steamer in the bottom, and a little bit of vinegar in there. Then I'm going ahead and seasoning up my crabs. One thing I like about this method is I can get my seasoning right onto the crab's meat. And of course, I like Old Bay. You can't beat it. I'm steaming, I'm gonna go in with my crabs. Just layering them in. I like meat side up. We're gonna have to do two batches probably. Probably. How long do they steam for? Six to seven minutes. So not too long. Trying to see in that pot. All the way to the top? All the way to the top. Come on, man. We're getting and close. We should. Well, maybe not. Maybe one pot. It's gonna happen. Oh, nice. <laughs> All those crabs fit in there. All right. I'm gonna check them after six minutes. Perfect. Here's a little pro tip. I roasted a head of garlic here. I'm gonna go in and smash that all up. Then add my dipping butter to that mm -hmm. and you have roasted garlic dipping butter. So it has been six minutes. Check them out. I'm gonna call those things done. Tongs are the best, best method for this. <laughs> Not fingers? No. <laughs> they are looking good. You got all your seasoning inside the body. Oh yeah, these are going to be delicious. And we've got enough to go ahead, we'll pick some and save some of the meat for crab cakes or stuffed flounder or Ooh. whatever you guys think I should cook. You let me know. Crabs Benedict. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Big dog. Oh yeah. So I still need to give you guys the breakdown of the pogies versus mullet for bait, as well as the commercial traps versus the day traps. Uh, as far as the bait, we couldn't really get a good handle on it because a couple of the traps got filled with mud. It looked like the mullet actually performed much better mostly because the water's so hot right now and the pogies were gone after two days and the mullet still had a little bit of bait left. And then as far as the two different kinds of traps, the commercial traps caught four to one, five to one. Those red traps I have are really not good for blue crabs unless you can check them every few hours off a dock or something like that and move your crabs to a holding cage. Uh, that style trap does catch stone crabs well, so keep that in mind. That's a good chunk. How that are they? Good as good. <laughs> Excuse you, sir. Excuse me, Bob. <laughs> no crab for dogs. <laughs> Look at him. He's super jealous. Yum. No crab for doggos.
All right, guys, so that's it. This is my first YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please like and subscribe and let me know what you guys thought of the video. I'm going to do a couple of these and see if they catch on.